Hello everybody, Multi here, back with some more Luigi's Hidden Mansion in the last episode. Um, we took on most of Area 3, we took on a bunch of portrait ghosts, I think like four of them in one episode. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be uh, going back to previous rooms again, well just a few of them. I'm not going to do the whole mansion again like I've been doing up to this point. What I am going to do is go inside the study here and we're going to hit the books. Literally. Luigi literally hits books. You found Lydia's childcare diary. Will you read it? Yeah. I haven't read it before, I'm pretty sure, in these previous playthroughs. The twins are very shy for, the, for ghosts their age. They've even gone and hid the key to the room far away in the mansion. How very trying. They got mad at the other day for mad at me the other day for twirling their little toy helicopter mobile. Ghost chilled today. Who knows what they're thinking? So not only a hint to the fact that their key is so far away, but also because uh um uh, the hint to actually start initiating the the challenge with them, but the thing is, like the weird, the whole weird thing is, is like how would you know that the, that the twins' room is the one that you can't get to in area one, you know? So I don't know. I'm not sure how someone who is playing the game for the first time would interpret that message. You found Egad's Guide to Ghosts. Will you read it? Why did Neville have it? I'm actually really curious about that. Dear readers, you've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. They would. What would you do, bright folks, when, a f when in a fix with one of these stubborn ghosts? Well, sir, I first look for an opening. A way to catch them off guard and unsell them. When a ghost is surprised and shows you its heart, that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've caught dozens of ghosts just like this. Okay. You found the Book of Par Parasols. Paracles. I've never in my 20 years playing this game have ever been able to pronounce that word. <laughs> no joke. There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. To handle these elements, one must first obtain an element metal. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only vi vi visible to the bearer of such a metal. Yeah, yeah it's kind of surprising they would tell you about that like so early on. Like You're not going to get any of the elemental metals in uh, Area 1. So <laughs> It's kind of weird they would tell you about this early on. There's a book called Darkness is Their Cheese. Will you read it? Yes. Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the lights come back on. See Parmesan. <laughs> oh my god, that's one of the best puns ever. You found Neville's big baby uh, care diary. My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he seems to scare people in ways the other two never did. The twins now. They're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Okay, that last one makes sense because that's how you, that's basically your hint to how you, um, uh, basically solve the hide and seek minigame. But the whole fire, water, and cold here, I'm not really sure, like, how elements play a role in that, uh, battle. I never tried before, I guess. Why they shake with fright when beset by the elements? Sometimes I think they're more childlike than the baby. I wish I had actually read these books earlier on and would have tried those elements on them. There's a book of riddles, will you read it? Mysteries appear where, wherever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. Uh, no, turning away is actually what you need to do with a lot of these ghosts in order to make them appear. <laughs> Especially with Neville, that's definitely the case with him. Okay, so now with that taken care of, uh, let's see what's next. Uh, that's right, it's time to take on Maddie and Clairvoya. And she is obviously probably one of the easiest portrait ghosts in the entire game, next to Uncle Grimly. But, uh, yeah, so getting a gold portrait with her is not going to be a problem. The only thing that, the only issue you might run into is if she drops a poison mushroom. Now, we've already read the the whole entire uh, text wall that you have with Man Clairvoy here. Frankly, I'm not going to go through that again, so I'm just going to tap A and skip through all this crap. But basically, you got to hit A, like, five times. you got to go through this die, like, five times to go through all the different... Uh, five collectibles you get from Mario, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, why don't I tell you guys the story about uh, my whole rental car situation I had to deal with with my uh, weekend road trip I just had while we're going through this. So, uh, basically, I had to rent a car for this road trip because I don't trust my own car, you know, because I was driving... Basically, I decided that I was going to drive the whole way down to Georgia and back instead of flying because, you know, I'm just so nervous about uh, airplanes. So whenever I do have the opportunity to travel somewhere within the country, I'm more uh, more likely to just drive. I'd rather just drive because I'm so afraid of heights and, 
you know, I can handle being airplane somewhat for a few hours, but if I look down, then yeah, I'm gonna go into like some panic and yeah, it just never ends well. So, um, so yeah, I, I decided to get a rental car and I went through Expedia and uh, the company that they set me up with was Hertz. Um, so I go to the Appleton Airport to pick up my rental car on Friday, or was it, it was actually Thursday, yeah, Thursday. And, uh, uh, t it turns out they require an actual credit card. Like, it did mention in Expedia that you need, like, a, like a credit card to provide um, in order to get the the rental car, uh, well, like, so they can put a hold on your account or something. Like, just to, just to make sure that the car comes back. Like, give you incentive to give the car back to them. Um, but every other single time my entire life, and... I know it's kind of a weird way to worry it, but uh, every other time in my entire life that credit card was mentioned, a debit card would suffice. And I don't have a credit card. Like, I never... Uh, I've never opened up a credit card, and the closest I ever got to that was using these Affirm loans to pay for expensive things. So eventually I will probably open a credit card at this point, but it's still really ridiculous that they, they couldn't bother to mention specifically on the website that you really have to have a credit card. We do not accept debit cards. So that really pissed me off, and and I felt strained at the airport for a while because I took a taxi to get there, you know, because I didn't want to pay for a long-term parking in the parking lot. But, uh... So, yeah, I ended up having to, at the last minute, switch into a different company, Avis, and uh, they set me up with one, and they just put a $200 hold on my debit card, basically, which I don't mind. Like, I don't personally mind. I don't know why the other companies can do that with the debit card. It's just so stupid. But, uh, either way... Trying to take care of Mag Claire Boy. So yeah, she will not drag you whatsoever, so all you gotta do is just, uh, uh... Like, what's really annoying is that her health se still seems to go down, like, really slowly sometimes, no matter what you do, so... I'm not sure what to say about that, but either way, we got it. Watch out for the Poison Shrimp, obviously, and she drops, for whatever reason. Maybe she's just playing a prank on you? I have no idea, like, why she drops one. Because she wants, she, we know that she, we, we clearly know that she really wants to be sucked up, like, it's her intention, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Even the boo that she has only has 40 HP, but that's probably because it's an Airy 2 boo, I guess. She should have, uh, yeah, 23 boos, yeah, that's right, okay. Because we have one more room, and that'll get us up to 24 boos, which is where you should be at by the time you get to the Airy 3 boss. So, this will take us up to the area th uh, third floor now, which is mostly area four, but that's okay, because this is the second to last room before the boss. <sighs> now, I don't know if I want to go through and check all the rooms again for stuff, because I get really tired doing that, because like, the further you get into the, room, the game, obviously, the longer that process is going to take, so it's just not worth it. You know, you might as well just wait until like the end of the game, basically, to do that all that crap. <sighs> But I'm not really. Lo I'm really not looking forward to the sealed room, like trying to get the the, the gold mouse goes in there, because that's the worst one yet. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to. That. Oh, that's right. That's right. We need ice, because you're gonna be dealing with uh, those stupid uh, water ghosts when you first get in there, and uh, yeah, you kind of need ice for that sort of thing. So this will give us less backtrack if you just take care of it immediately. Get your ice. But yeah, shout out to. Avis for it, at the very least taking freaking debit cards, even though it was so expensive, like getting the the rental car for, for them. So I think that's the one downside that they're more expensive as a as a result. But uh, yeah, just put a hold on my debit card. I don't care. I'm gonna return the rental car. I know I will, so I don't have an issue with the company having a hold on my account. And you know, it is what it is. But it still sucks. Like the, the things turn out the way they did. All right. So, let's get all the treasures first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a speed spear in here, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's see. Okay, I guess not. Alright. I could have swore there was one. But my mind must be... My memory must be failing me at this point. Alright. So, yeah, it's the first time we encounter the blue ghosts. And, yeah, these guys are quite a... Quite a mischief... Or quite the mischief makers, I guess you could say. Because I don't remember the proper word that I wanted to say. Nuisance or something? I don't know. Either way, you don't want to deal with them, so just, uh, yeah, take care of me, really. Okay. Yeah, just quickly before he kind of... Oh, jeez. 
jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get rid of these banana peels first, because that's going to be a big issue. I thought they had 30 HP, not 35. Well, whatever. It's not that important. Or even 40 HP. I would have uh, believed it if it was 40. Oh, yeah, it is 40. What the hell? Why'd the one have 35 then? That's, that's weird. That's very odd. All right, where are you? Come on. Ooh. Okay, bomb. Little boop peep, lost sheep. Okay. All right, let's try and get this guy. Well, he's not gonna go anywhere. I'm pretty sure he won't go into any other rooms besides just back to the safari room. So different from the other boots in this corridor, which you won't see for a very, very long time. Thankfully, only 100 HP, so I only have to go back and forth once. Okay, now we have to go back down and get water before we head on to the, out to the balcony. But I'm pretty sure this will get us up to, like, where we want to be as far as the treasures go. Like, doing all the plants on the balcony. Just, uh, watch out for these bomb ghosts, as usual. Watch out for the bowling ghosts, of course. Oh my god, seriously. Luigi always getting Starl is so annoying. I hate that. I really, really, really hate that. Because it leaves you, like, just arbitrarily... You know, it's just so arbitrary, and it leaves... You, or Like, it makes sense that someone be Starl, but still, it's so annoying. It doesn't make... It just change the fact that it... It adds nothing positive to the gameplay experience. It's just so annoying. You know, like tripping in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, or tripping... Or the Pikmin tripping in Pikmin 1. You know? Because even when you have Flower Pikmin in Pikmin 1, they still trip, so what's the point? Like, you could say it's incentive to uh, change your all your Pikmin to flowers, but that's not really the case if they're still tripping after they have flowers on them. So, I don't know. And I'm going to want to have full HP before... Well, that's okay. Because we have the chest here inside the Safari Room, which always has a large heart inside it. There you go. All right, so now we're ready to water all those plants on Balcony, and then we'll take on the boss of Area 3, Bulasis, which is a lot different from other portrait ghosts. You don't actually uh, drain the HP in the same way. But uh, yeah, you already know that. If you're watching this project, I really hope so. And a green jewel there. And this is one of the two uh, false, ru false red ruby uh, diamonds, I do believe. False diamonds or whatever. The other one being on uh, King Thu's crown. Yep, this one right here. The only other one is in the in a King Thu's crown. And these are literally worth just one coin. They're just, they're completely useless. So just kind of a amusing little addition to your treasures, basically. Okay, is that everything? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I got everything. So after we get everything, yeah, definitely gonna be over a hundred, a thousand coins, which is pretty good for ending off area three. But maybe it's supposed to be eleven hundred coins. I'm not sure. Like, it, I'm pretty sure eleven hundred coins is how much you're supposed to have if you got everything up to this point. Yeah, some of these plants have nothing in them or hearts, but either way, might as well check all of them just to be sure if you don't know that for certain. For certain. Yeah, I'll just have to, I'll accept that for now is basically what we got. I'm not going to go back and check out, check every room in the mansion again, so let's do this.
Alright, who lost this? Let's see if I can get this down in five minutes. If who lost this himself will just automatically, yep, just automatically just fly into the horn if you go into the right spot there. So this is my uh, tactic with who lost, the same as before. Same as it's always been. It's half of the boost right there already. Okay. Ah, not quite there. Alright. It's already down to like five or six now, I think. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, okay. It's very finicky sometimes, like when you're supposed to, or when you, like when it counts uh, boot losses being in, in your vacuum, basically. Okay, is that... Oh, it's just one, okay. Alright, so just do little spurts to keep Luigi aiming in the right direction. Okay. Alright, three, not bad. Come on, right into the... Ah, dang. I thought you... I was hoping it bounced right into the stupid horn. Oh, two of them right there. Cool. Ah, shit. That's not good. Okay, down to one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, just try to shoot behind you, and then you'll get it. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, crap. I lost my gold portrait. That's bullshit. Oh my god, so stupid. Ah, I can't believe that. And I can't go back because I didn't save. Uh, oh well. That's a stupid silver for Bulosis. That's pretty disappointing. Oh well. Uh... I was hoping for a perfect run of this game, but uh, oh well, I'll just have to take the loss and deal with it. I'll never have a perfect run of this game, it is what it is. You know, I couldn't... I wouldn't have gone back that far if I if uh, just reset the game, but it just wasn't worth it. I didn't I didn't want to redo the whole blue losses fight just because that last moment there, that was just so frustrating. But that's just part of the whole gaming experience. You're gonna have frustrating moments like that, you know? Just disappointments here and there. We ain't perfect, we only humans after after all. Ugh, that's ugly as hell, that silver portrait. Ah, uh, same for that one. There's gonna be three of them in this area. That's not good. That's terrible. That's awful. For someone with 20 years experience in this game, that's definitely, that's, that's pretty bad. Bleh. Yeah, 16 ghosts so far. Let's see where our toll is. 68 million. Okay, fine. Whatever. Alright, folks. Give me it for today. Uh, join me next time for starting off Area 4, Luigi's Mansion. See y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Love y'all.